Hi, I'm Chef Amy Hoagie, and I'm here to teach you how to play with food, where we take a basic recipe, change it up a little bit to create a whole new dish. Thank you for joining me today. This is my friend Justine, one, actually one of my cooking students, and she's going to be cooking with me, helping me create a really healthy dish. She's known as the Fit Cook. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. This is good. So I've got a little olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, healthy for the body. Ooh, that's nice and hot. You can hear that. And little garlic. Now, you did a fabulous job chopping up this garlic. Thank you. I love garlic. So do you. My cooking instructor taught Yummy, me well. yummy. So we put that in. We're going to put our aromatics in first. Onion, and, and as you notice, I chop these up really nice and fine. They cook a lot faster. It's great if you're on a time schedule and you don't have a lot of time to eat or prep. I mean, we have a lot of time to eat sometimes. We're just tired. So this is really fast. This will get down really fast if you prop, prep it ahead of time. And you can throw it in your fridge, right? That's what you Absolutely. do. Absolutely. It's a little... And people have to remember that if you have a busy life, you can make it happen. You just have to prepare ahead Ooh. of time. That's the problem. That's getting my eyeballs. Get a little garlic and onion. Wow. Added. Don't cry. So the carrot, I finally chopped up the carrot as well. I don't know how much carrot. Maybe a couple tablespoons of that. And I like that too because it really, when you take a bite, you get all the flavors in there. Right. You know, the big chunk of this or that. And That's right. And you're not getting all of it. Throwing in my... Um, Green bell peppers, and we need some chicken. We do. Where'd our chicken go? Our chicken walked off. He said, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, throw me in some chicken. One of the best proteins to nice. use. Very That's versatile. Good. Oh, wait, Perfect. we got a little, little rogue right there. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a sec. Right. Well, I season all the way through. A little sea salt, love sea salt. Then we have, I'm gonna add some sesame seeds. Buy it in bulk. It's much less much, expensive. Yes, much and cheaper. And it stores well. Oh my Do you gosh. freeze yours? You can. Actually, I freeze my nuts. Freeze all my nuts. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But I do. I throw all my nuts, pecans, walnuts, all that stuff. I keep in the freezer because it lasts a whole lot longer. Now this I'm adding. This is my own spice um, ball. She's this really cool Indian teacher on the cooking channel. And she has this really cool cookbook. Anyway, tandoori style garam masala. That and so, so good. whole bunch of flavors, whole bunch of, it's like a, like a curry. A little bit like a curry. It's, it's a different, it's, to me it almost mm. has a sweet type of sweetness. Mm. Sweet type of sweetness. Yes. International flavor. Now I'm adding a little bit of um, sesame oil, maybe a teaspoon. That's going to bring in that sesame flavor along with those seeds. Don't be afraid of the oil. It's okay. If you get the right kind of fat, it's good for you. That's right. Now our green bell peppers, sometimes I buy them in, um, when they're in season in the summertime and I chop them up, throw them in the freezer, and then I just pull them out when I'm making a stir fry. I don't even thaw them really. I just kind of throw them in there and they cook up really nice. You know, I find if um, we have to cook up a lot of chicken, sometimes if you have it still a little bit frozen, it is actually easier to cut it up that way to the mm -hmm. actual size oh, you're right. you want to. I agree. Yep. Now, you don't have to add peanuts if you don't want to, but I like the little added crunch, especially with the green bell pepper. There's a little sweetness to that. Yes. Then I also, this is my, my favorite sauce. By this gargantuan bottle of sweet, sweet garlic and chili sauce. Mm -hmm. This adds lots of flavor, a little bit of that sweetness. You want to balance the sweet and savory right. in your um, in your stir fry. Well, that way you're not just getting a spoonful of just oh, wow, it's too strong. You don't, you don't, or it's overly spicy. Right. And I think, especially when I teach kids as well, that it's nice when you have them eat a stir fry and they're super excited and they're like, my kid never touches any of those vegetables. And I said, well, That's you have to right. add a little sweet and a little sweet and garlic. Sweetened garlic and chili sauce. But that's why you play with the food. That's why you play with the food. Exactly. You like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. We have our jasmine rice already ready. One of my favorites. I love that it's it's nice. It's almost like a sticky rice. They use it for this in the in the Asian restaurants for right. sticky rice. There you go. But here it is. You've got your chicken stir fry with green bell pepper and a whole bunch of other love in there. I'm Chef Amy Hoagie. You can check me out on my website at chefamy with two e's dot com. Mm -hmm.